In the gospel narratives of Jesus' death and resurrection, we are offered the paradigm experience of women who accompanied the suffering Jesus to the cross, women who were the first to encounter him as the risen Christ. They were the first to give witness to his other disciples of the transformative power of what God is doing through his son for each one of us and for the hope of all humanity. Today, in many diverse places, this pattern of first encounter is especially being modeled by lay and religious women of faith. During this Easter week, we invite you to follow these women who are encountering the risen Christ. These inspirational women of faith will give witness to the continuing revelation of the transformative power of the Paschal Mystery. May God bless you and all whom you love in this blessed Easter season. Mary Magdalene is the apostle to the apostles. Maybe nowadays at the mention of the name Mary Magdalene, most people might think of a fallen woman, a prostitute, or perhaps even a secret wife of Jesus clouded in mystery and scandal. But oftentimes throughout the millennia, we've tried to make the story of Mary Magdalene more sensational perhaps because her singular role of witness in the Gospels is the most sensational thing that could ever happen. Little details or ways to make the story seem more juicy over time can never even begin to compete with how sensational it must have been to be the first one to experience and witness the empty tomb of Christ and to announce Christ's resurrection. And so Mary, the Apostle to the Apostles, is a woman who teaches us how to be Easter Christians, that is, Christians of great joy and great hope in giving our own witness. I find it helpful to think of Christian scenes, art, imagery, and beauty throughout the ages that really gets to the heart of who Mary Magdalene is and her role as a disciple of Christ in the Apostle to the Apostles. For example, in the Resurrection Tapestry that we find in the Vatican Museums, Christ is front and center, conquering death as he exits the empty tomb to give us blessing, invite us all into personal relationship with him, and together experience eternity in the body of Christ, the Church. And in this tremendous scene, just off to the left in a small little group of women, you see Mary Magdalene on her way to the tomb to go and give witness, to be the one to hear, he is not here. She doesn't try to steal the scene from Jesus. Instead, she is the first in a small way on her way to give witness. And as Christians, what more could we be called to than to give witness to the resurrected Christ? In a similar way, in the Redemptor Matris Chapel, where there is a mosaic of scenes of salvation history that swirl around you and overwhelm the senses. Peering over into an empty tomb is Mary Magdalene once again, giving witness to the resurrection. Of course, the center of the scene is Christ rising up out of the tomb triumphant over death, because that must always be our central focus. But as true Christian disciples, and showing the way apostles to be, she is there giving silent witness and in turn inviting others to give their own witness as well. She reminds us that as Christians, we must all go and peer into the empty tomb and hear in our hearts that he is not here so that each of us can be a witness to Easter joy and Easter hope.